what has the experience been like the American version of Celebrity Fake Club? What has that experience been like for you? It's pretty interesting because, um, you know, the, the transition with me going from being a Marine where, you know, you have total control of everything and, you know, the Marines are going to give you 110% and, and do what you tell them to do when you tell them to do it. And you uh, transition to the celebrities, man. They, uh, they, they're, they could be a piece of work sometimes, you know. They, do you think they really want to lose weight or do you think they just want to promote their career? For the most part, the majority of them really want to, uh, you know, take advantage of what they have. But, you know, you always have 10%. And you, you, there's no if ands or buts about it. You're gonna get that ten percent, and you just gotta, you know, it's, when I get if I get a recruit a, uh, a platoon of recruits, I get eighty eight. You know, ten percent of those those knuckleheads are not gonna be there for the right reasons. You know. You seem angry on some of the shows. I mean, I I mean, I did, I have to bring that up. Why why do you seem so pissed off? Because I am fucking pissed off, man. You just you know what it's like. They don't understand that everything that happens there in fit camp. Man, I played this out in my mind over and over and time and time again. I went out there the day prior to the camp, testing all those dog on courses, testing the challenges, you know, doing the workouts. They bring their asses out there. I want them to freaking give me 110%. It drives me mad when they come out there and they freaking whine because they're so used to the publicists, agents, managers, and everybody else doing everything that they want them to do when they want to do it. So now, you know, they have somebody who's telling them to do something when I want them to do it and how I want them to do it. They give me all this freaking drama and it drives me mad because I'm pissed off. It drives me So you're mad. really active in preparing the courses and you just don't show up for work. You're you're really working on it. Oh, no, it's not a nine to five for me. Yeah. I mean, you'll see the season, you know, I, from the dog challenges to, uh, you know, freaking having a pupil stick over, over the dog swimming pool. Man, I, I, I go through all that stuff to make sure you know, the T's are crossed a couple times and the I's are dotted a million times. Do you even care that they're a celebrity? No. Nah. Who are they to you? Just fat people? Recruits. Recruits. <laughs> yeah. They're just some fat ass recruits that want to get fit. You know, now, uh, over the course of time, do we develop a personal relationship? Of course, you know. I, right. I'm, I'm human just like anybody else. But, you know, it's still, a, you know, the beginning of the day, hey, I'm here to get a mission accomplished and you need... You know, to give me 110% so I get that. Who's been the laziest celebrity? That screech fucking Dustin, Dustin, Dustin Diamond, Diamond from Saved by the Bell. Yeah. Um, a ten. waste of fucking sperm, man. A waste of fucking oh, sperm? Fucking waste of sperm. Okay. Yeah. Let's elaborate on the that one. The best part of Dustin ran out of crack of his day as I asked. Really? Yeah, that's how I feel about that client. Let's talk about why. Why do you feel like that? He's just an evil person, man. That guy, you know, he had no respect for his fellow fit clubs, he had no respect for for Stacy, he had no respect for the program, he had no freaking, and then the, the, the balls of that clown and one of them gonna fight me. Dude, I'm here trying to get your fat ass in shape. You gonna freaking come toe to toe to me? Oh, I would love, love to go toe to toe with him. Okay, do you really think that's who he is or is that just the persona on TV? No, he's a piece of shit. Really? Yeah, he is really a freaking piece of shit. Yeah, trust me. Okay. That's what he fucking is. You, you can't act that way. I mean, he is just a fucking piece of shit. Did he lose weight? Hell no, he's a fucking clown. He, you know, he was up and down. He, he, had, he, didn't, he had no desires to lose weight. Well, a lot of questions that came to me about Screech were all about his interaction with Kimberly Locke from American Idol. Do you think, why do you think he purposely uh, was perpetuating this awful mentality towards her and instead of the rest of the, why do you think she was the victim? I his, wish I knew. Yeah, I know. I, I tell you, it, you know, that gutted me more than anything. Well, it's it's kind of interesting that they brought him back for another season with you. Why? And did you not know he was coming back? I have nothing to do with casting. Nothing. I show up. So know. you don't even know who is going to be there on day one. Maybe. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I just show up. That's 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 me. That's a drill instructor in the Marine. I mean, you know, I I get there on day one and I rock and roll. Now, don't get me wrong. I hear the rumors of who's going to be on. Right. I, know, I just take it with a grain of salt, you know, because my, my job is to, you know, get so fit. when you saw Screech for an yet another season, what went through your mind? Holy shit. Really? Yeah, I'm like, damn, this is going to be You're like, long God, give me patience. It's going to be a long, yeah. damn season. Really? And I... And he didn't try to turn it around at all or apologize to you or not be a douchebag? Well, he actually did. Okay. You know, in all fairness, you know, he... 
he apologized, you know, the very first day and said, hey, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to uh, try to impress you and gain your respect. And without a doubt, he didn't get it. Because you know, I, 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 why? Told him, I told him right there on the scale, you have to show me. You know, I don't give a rat's ass about you. You were on fire. I wouldn't fucking piss on your ass. Right. You know, that's how much I can't stand you. So, you know, you can tell me all the fuck you want. How much you saw, how sorry you are and, and what you're going to do. Until you show me, you can kiss my fucking yellow fit ass. I don't give a rat's ass about you. But I just want to make clear that you're not holding a grudge. It's just the fact that he's just an asshole. Yeah. Though, like, over and over and over again. He's a fucking Okay, let's go to something positive. Let's yeah, talk about. Please. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, because on, I just want to say this. Um, I've known Harvey for a while, and you're one of the nicest guys I've ever met. So when I see you on Fit Club and someone's being a jerk to you, I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't get it. You know? Yeah, I'm not an asshole all the time. You know, I'm only, I just, my, what I'm good at, and uh, this is, you know, probably I can probably you know, attribute this to the being in a, a marine is, I motivate people. You yeah. know, I, I, I get the best out of people. I take the places that they, you know, had no idea where they can go. You know, I boost their self-esteem. You know, I, I, I teach them that, you know, there's more in them that they just have to tap in and just, you know, find that chi and, and bring it out. That's what I do. You know, when, when, when you, you know, confront me and, and, you know, giving me a, you know, a lot of, you know, drama over you know, my methods and yeah, we're gonna have some problems because you know, I'm a perfectionist. I have a mission to accomplish and I'm gonna get it accomplished by any means necessary. I believe in kicking ass and taking initials because we don't have time to take names. And if you hear, you telling me you committed to let me do that for you. So don't give me all that bullshit and all the drama and and just you know be a, a total Because you're trying to help them out. Exactly. Yeah. And and you know, going back to be a perfect being a perfectionist. I, man, I play it over and over. I have a plan. Man, I plan on everything from brushing my teeth to uh, it's OCD, I know, and all this stuff, but that's just the way I am. I plan everything. So the time that I have with you, there's a plan for it. There's a, there's a plan A, there's a plan B, and there's a plan C. And those plans are, are, are plans for you and I to get a mission accomplished. Don't give me all the damn bullshit, all the added stuff that I, I just want to put up with it. So that's why when you see me on TV, I'm losing my mind because... Then I get with the program. Am I part of the plan right now? Am I okay? Oh, you good to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 What can you tell us about this season of Celebrity Fit Club? Ooh, you're gonna see a lot of tears. Really? You're gonna see a lot of blood, sweat. For real blood? Yeah. Real, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, drama. And I really thought this was gonna be a drama-free se uh, season, uh, but it's uh, the drama that we had was. It wasn't drama that you, you could put a script on. So what you're seeing on TV is real. It's not like uh, it's not like the hills where it's like scripted reality. Oh no, no, it's different. Not that there's any proof of that, but um, it's everything is real. Yeah, and uh, you know what I what I like about this season too is um, you know just like past seasons, you know I, I I come up with all these challenges. This season it was a lot easier for me because I uh, I took everything from like most of the Marine Corps boot camps, the the the, uh, the Marine Corps training. A lot of uh, special forces training, and I just wanted, I really pushed the envelope. You know, they they uh, they let us push the envelope this season, and, you know, we did everything from uh, boxing to, you know, humanitarian rescue missions, or well, simulated humanitarian uh, rescue missions to, uh, you know, attack dogs. Man, you, you name it, we, we did it. And uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a great season. I can't wait. Will we see season eight, perhaps? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. You better believe it. Yeah. You better if they want it. more information, they can check out harveywalton.com. Yes, sir. Get your books. Yeah. No excuses. Fitness workout. Yeah. And your DVD. And Celebrity Fit Club Bootcamp. Workout. Okay. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. You get everything off the website. Okay. I'm going to try it out. No, really. I, I, I'm gonna, I should. <laughs> we'll probably film me. It's mine or Matt. I want to do a boot camp. We'll, yeah. we'll do a boot camp. Yes, sir. Cool. Harvey, thank you so much for being on with Josh.com. I really appreciate yeah. it. Um, so, once again, if you want more information on the Harvey, go to harveywalden.com or just uh, I have the link right here with Josh.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.